Hi, I'm Nick with Norpole, and today we're going to discuss how to properly program your Corel IR33 freezer controller. Let's get started. First, let's go over how to set the temperature. The factory setting on our freezer is negative 7.6 degrees. Press and hold down the set button until you see a temperature flash. Once you do, you can use the up or the down arrow to raise or lower the temperature. Once you get to the desired temp, go ahead and press set again. Accessing the parameters. You would access the parameters to adjust specific defrost time, band settings, and temperature differential depending on what you're storing. To access the parameters, press and hold down the program button and the set button at the same time until you see zero. Once you do, you want to go ahead and hit the up arrow until you get to the number 22. All of our controllers have a password setting of 22. Press set. Now that you have access to the parameters, we can go ahead and adjust the settings on each parameter. The first parameter you'll see is a slash five. The slash five setting helps the unit go into Fahrenheit or Celsius. The factory setting should be 1, and that's for Fahrenheit. If you wanted to put this unit in Celsius, go down to 0. Use the down arrow to scroll through the parameters. The parameter you'll see is F3, and that means fan mode during a defrost. The factory setting is 1. If you want to change this parameter and have the fans run after the defrost, you could set this parameter to zero. So if you use the down arrow again, you'll move to F2. The F2 parameter will control the fan running when the compressor stops. The factory setting is one. If you would like the fan to run when the compressor is off, you can set this parameter to zero. F1. This parameter is the fan starting temperature. The factory setting on this is 41. This will indicate when the fan comes on after the defrost. F0. F0 is the fan operating function, which controls all of the F parameters. The factory setting should be set to 2. The next parameter you'll see is DD. DD is the drip time after a defrost meaning the unit will wait this amount of time in minutes before kicking the fans on. The factory setting is six. The next parameter is DP1. This setting is to control the defrost duration, meaning how long the unit will be in a defrost. The factory setting is 20. This means a 20 minute defrost time. We'll go down to DT1. DT1 is the defrost termination temperature, meaning once the temperature sensor reaches this temperature, the unit will come out of defrost. If the unit reaches the temperature before the 20 minute defrost cycle is over, it'll force out of a defrost. The factory setting is 58. The next parameter you'll see is DI. DI is the defrost interval time. The factory setting is three. This means the unit will go into defrost every three hours. If DP1 is set to 20, the unit has a 20 minute defrost every three hours. Setting this higher may result in freeze ups. We can move to C0. C0 is the compressor delay. When you first start the unit, the unit will have a two minute delay, which is the factory setting. This delay is to help protect the electrical components of the compressor. The R2 parameter is the high limit, meaning this is the highest temperature you could set the unit to. The factory setting is 10, meaning 10 degrees. You will not be able to set this higher unless this parameter is adjusted. We'll move to R1. R1 is the low limit. The low limit means this is the lowest you can set the unit to. The factory setting is negative 10. 
we'll go ahead and move to RD. RD is the differential. The differential is the temperature swing in the unit, meaning the unit is set to negative seven. The compressor will not come on until the unit reaches zero degrees. The factory setting is seven. You can adjust this parameter lower, but that will result in the unit cycling more. ST. ST is the set point. This is the actual temperature setting for the freezer. Factory setting is negative 7.6. You can adjust this parameter without accessing the parameters by pressing and holding the set button until the temperature flashes. Slash C2 is the evaporator offset. This setting is normally set to zero, meaning once the unit passes a set point, the unit will come back on immediately and the evaporator will get cold again. This parameter is used to correct the temperature measured by the probes. Slash C2 is measuring the temperature from the evaporator probe. Slash C1. Slash C1 is the cabinet offset. This parameter is used to correct the temperature measured by the probes and slash C1 is measuring the temperature of the cabinet probe. Factory setting is zero. Now that we went through the parameters, it's time to save our work. To save these settings, simply press and hold down the program button until the display reaches the temperature again. One more thing to note is you could force the unit into a defrost. If you notice any frost or ice building up near the evaporator fans, and it could be caused by leaving the door open, you can force the unit in and out of a defrost. To do this, go ahead and press and hold down the down arrow for three seconds. You'll see DEF displayed on the screen. You could also force this unit out of a defrost by repeating the same operation. If you would like to order parts for our products, you can visit our website at www.mcappliance.com and click on the support tab, which will have a drop down for parts. Thanks for watching our video on the Corel IR33 freezer parameters. If you have any other questions, you can visit us at our website at www.mcappliance.com and use our live chat function. Or you could contact us at 888-775-0202. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.